when we focus on materialism now please pay attention I beg you when we focus on materialism and when I say materialism I'm talking about everything that is visible to the naked eye therefore everything that is tangible everything that is physical that includes your own body that's materialistic so when we focus on materialism we focus on things that are external everything everything that is external everything that is visible to the naked eye is only temporal it will not last my son it will not last my daughter you focus on your body and your body only it will not last one day the termites will eat that body in the grave we forgot to focus on the spiritual side of us the attention is being made only on the materialistic physical being we lost track of the spiritual no wonder we cannot differentiate between our right hand and left and the left no wonder no wonder the world is walking in absolute blindness spiritual blindness because the only time I and you you and I are open seeing everything clearly with our eyes when Christ is ruling over our life when Christ no no please no clapping no clapping we this is this is serious this is serious so when we get drawn by what the world is offering and in this particular passage America is offering the woman we became focused on it totally blind totally blind now I just want to see who is the next rapper I just want to see who is the next singer I just want to see who is coming to Australia you know I don't care if the ticket is a hundred two hundred a thousand dollars I'll buy it in the black market I'm going into Sydney Stadium because this guy this girl came from America who gives one penny they'll come they will laugh at you they will tell you things absolute nonsense empty vanity of all vanities they'll make millions out of you and sentence you to darkness and you say Wah! people running just to get to the stage and you see these boys and girls crying losing it because this guy went well, what is this? Any brain? Like, what is this? That's foolish, childish. In a more blunt way, it's stupid. Now, seriously, it's stupid. So, what this? What's this? I can do it too. <laughs> like, what is the big deal? I beg you. I beg you. When you come to the Lord, there is no more nonsense. There is no more childish behavior. There is no more deceptive way. There is no more sorcery. The Lord is the light of the world. Everything in the light is clear. Everything in the light is truthful. Everything in the light is genuine. Everything is the, in the light. What you see is what you get. No two ways about it. There is no hypocrisy. There is no acting. There is no deception. Genuineness. With Christ, you get nothing but genuineness. He will come and he will say, I love you. But you're doing things against me. I don't like it. The world will come and say, keep on doing it. You're doing great, brother. And they call you brother. <laughs> a lie. A lie. How many friends called each other bros? But when things went wrong, where are my bros? When I fell, 
When I went into prison, where are my so-called bros? The one and only, the true friends in my life. Where are they? Gone. Gone. But Christ never, never leaves. For he is the genuine person you could ever meet, you could ever have in your life. You won't get anyone genuine as Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Impossible. He will say it in your face, I don't like your behavior, but I will never let go of you. I will be with you and I will do everything in my power to make sure you come to me. But you need to open the door. I will not force myself in because if I do that, I'll be seen as a thief. I will knock. I can break the door and break your head if I wanted to, but I will not do something against my own nature for I am holy. What is inside of me is outside of me. When I created you on the basis of love, I gave you with love freedom and with freedom choices and with the choices, the will to decide for yourself whether you want to come to me freely or reject me freely. But if you choose freely and willingly to come to me, I will make sure you'll be with me in the end. There is no power in existence that can take you away from the hand of God who was nailed on the cross in the flesh. No one. For I have engraved your names in that wound. I've engraved your names there. No one can wipe your name. My wounds protect you. My wounds preserve you. My wounds guarantee you life as long as you let me work in you. Stop being deceived by the temptations of the world and in this case United Nations America and we said last week look at the UN like I just wonder like is there any country 193 countries are members of the UN 193 countries none of them are men none of them they brought down the flags of 193 countries and they put the LGBT flag. Is there any more men? Shame on all of you. You know why? Because the UN is built on Satan anyway. It's built on Satan. 